The Potion CNC screen editor now supports subscripts in a hierarchical manner. Here we show an example of three subscreens included into a parent screen called New, which is then included into the main screen. Previous versions of the Quotion CNC screen editor allowed subscripts, but they needed to be manipulated manually by editing the source files in a text editor. This is now possible to be performed through the GUI. Note that when a subscript file is included an optional offset can be assigned. This allows shifting an entire group of controls contained within one subscript file by entering a single offset. If a control is included through multiple branches in the hierarchy, the control will be offset by the total of all the parents of the subscript file. For this example we will start with a simple monolithic screen script file without any subscripts. We will now save this to a new folder called test. We will then select a group of controls. In this case the G-code controls, and assign them to a subscript. The subscript will be called gcode.scr. We will select some fixture-related controls and assign them to a subscript called fixture.scr. Finally we will select some feed rate override controls and assign them to a subscript called FRO. SCR. We will now save the screen. Notice three subscript files have been created and the controls that we have assigned to those subscript files are included in those files. Notice the structure of the hierarchy is shown in the tree view control. Double clicking on any of the tree nodes will open the screen script file in an external editor which is set to notepad++ by default. This is what the three subscript files look like now. Notice they have also been included in the main top level screen script. We will now insert a parent node in the hierarchy in order to allow the three subscript files to be easily manipulated. We right click on the tree node where a new parent is to be inserted. Define a new parent name and insert it. We can now drag and drop the other two subscripts into the new parent. Looking at the new parent screen file we can see it simply contains three includes of the three subscript files. We will now show how one might make two main screens that include these subscript files in a different way with different offsets. First we save the main script to a new name. We'll call it basic2.scr. We will now duplicate the new node by copying it. First right click on the node to be duplicated. Confirm the new node name. 
and push copy and rename. Looking in the directory folder we can see there is now a new 2.scr screen file. The two main screens will be different in that in one case these groups of controls will be on the left and the G-code controls will be on the right. Where in the other screen we will swap their positions. So we right-click on the node for the G-code controls and change the X offset to be shifted minus 180 pixels. Then we right-click the FRO node and shift it 520 pixels to the right. And we also right-click the fixture node and specify a 520 pixel shift to the right. Notice now the G-code controls are on the left and the fixture and feed rate override controls are on the right. We will now save this second screen. Loading the screen called basic has the G-code controls on the right. Loading the screen called basic 2 has the G-code on the left. In order to make specific changes to a control for a specific screen, we might duplicate those controls, and give it a new name. In this case we right-click on Fixture, and copy rename to Fixture 2. If we now make a change to a specific control, for example change the fixture label color to red and bold, it will only be applied to the screen which includes that subscript. If we now reload the basic screen, Notice that the fixture label control has not been changed to red. That's it for now. We hope you enjoy this new subscript feature.